Add Indotech. You ideate it, we automate it. Question one, what is industrial automation? Industrial automation involves delegating human control functions to technical equipment to increase productivity, improve quality, reduce costs, and enhance safety. Question two, what are the main components used in automation? Key components include sensors like RTDs, thermocouples, transmitters, control systems, PLC, DCS, PID controllers, and output devices as actuators like drives and control valves. Question three, can you explain a PID-based control system? PID, Proportional Integral Derivative Controller, uses a control loop feedback mechanism to maintain the desired output by minimizing the error between a set point and the process variable. Question four, what are the types of industrial control systems? The main types are programmable logic controllers, or PLCs, distributed control systems, DCS, and supervisory control and data acquisition, SCADA. Question five, what are the leading PLC providers? Prominent PLC manufacturers include Rockwell Automation, Allen Bradley, Siemens, Schneider Electric, Modicon, GE Phonic, and Mitsubishi Electric. Question six, what are the leading DCS providers? Major DCS suppliers include Yokogawa, Centum Series, Honeywell, Experian, Emerson, Delta V, ABB, System 800, and Siemens, PCS 7. Question seven, what are the leading SCADA software providers? Leading SCADA software providers include Wonderware, InTouch, Siemens, WinCC, Rockwell Automation, Factory Talk View, and GE Digital, iFix. Question eight, what is a distributed control system, DCS? A DCS is a control system where control and monitoring are distributed across interconnected controllers rather than centralized. Question nine, what is a ladder diagram in PLC programming? A ladder diagram is a graphical programming language resembling electrical relay logic used to design PLC control systems. Question 10, what is the difference between analog and digital signals? Analog signals represent continuous values while digital signals represent discrete on-off or binary states. Question 11, what distinguishes a PLC from a relay? PLCs are programmable and handle both analog and digital IOs, allowing complex control and automation, whereas relays are hardwired for specific functions and are less flexible. Question 12, how does a PLC differ from a DCS? A PLC is typically used for discrete control with a focus on high-speed logic operations, while a DCS manages complex, large-scale, continuous processes with distributed control and centralized monitoring. Question 13. What is a PC-based control system? In PC-based control, a standard computer's CPU acts as the processor, utilizing PCI cards for I.O. connections, with RAM and hard disk serving as memory and storage, respectively. Question 14. What is the principle behind SCADA? SCADA, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition Systems. Monitor and control industrial processes by collecting real-time data from sensors and controllers, displaying it to operators, and allowing control actions. Question 15. What are the main features of SCADA systems?
SCADA systems provide data acquisition, process control, monitoring, data logging, real-time and historical trending, alarm handling, and remote access capabilities. Question 16. What is a servo motor and how does it work? A servo motor is a closed loop motor that uses feedback to achieve precise control of angular or linear position, speed, and acceleration. Question 17. What is a stepper motor and where is it used? A stepper motor is an open loop motor that rotates in discrete steps, commonly used in applications requiring precise position control like CNC machines and 3D printers. Question 18. What is an HMI and what is its role? Human Machine Interface, as HMI, is a user interface or dashboard that connects a person to a machine, system, or device, enabling monitoring and control of industrial processes. Question 19. Explain the term redundancy in automation. Redundancy refers to duplicating critical components or functions to ensure system reliability and availability in case of failure. Question 20. What is the difference between on-off and proportional control? On-off control toggles the output fully on or off based on a set point, while proportional control adjusts the output proportionally to the error magnitude. Question 21. How does Modbus communication work? Modbus is a communication protocol that facilitates data exchange between devices using a master-slave architecture over serial lines or TCP IP. Question 22. What is the function of a variable frequency drive, VFD? A VFD controls the speed and torque of an electric motor by varying the motor's input frequency and voltage. Question 23. What are safety PLCs and when are they used? Safety PLCs are designed for fail-safe operation in critical applications, ensuring safe shutdown and operation in the event of a fault. Question 24. What is the purpose of a control loop? A control loop maintains a process variable at a desired set point by adjusting inputs based on feedback. Question 25. What are the different types of process variables? Process variables include temperature, pressure, flow, level, and composition. How many questions did you get right? Make sure to subscribe for daily industrial automation content.